Hello everybody, this is Jabur Ahrish, I am PhD student at Sokan University. In this presentation, I am going to talk about eco-villages. This paper is under the supervision of Dr. Samih in the course of Ecological Design Principles for Housing Settlement. So, the title of this presentation is Ecological Design Models of Eco-Villages for Sustainable Architecture. I use the case of study for some eco-villages around the world. So let's go the abstract. Our community today are faced by the biggest challenge in human history, the non-sustainable situation in the current socio-economic and ecological system. So many people are turning to eco-communities as a viable alternative to urban life. This paper offers a case of study for six selected eco-villages as models for sustainable communities. The objective is to analyze and compare principles of ecological design and planning processes for those eco-villages so we can discuss how possibly ecological impacts and, and effects of eco-villages to achieve sustainability. Finally, some solutions for design and consideration to take in account to create eco-villages based on certain criteria of sustainable planning and architecture. Introduction Ecology is one of the most essential earth dimensions that must be balanced to extend the cycle of life. Increasing exploitation of nature is an alarming situation which to adopt a, a sustainable pattern for living. We must consider a new residential area model to address the current community needs and establish sustainable development in suburban and villages areas. Eco-villages are organized or traditional settlements aim to regenerate in both natural and social environment. The social Ecological, economic, and cultural dimensions of sustainability are integrated uh, into a holistic sustainable development model adopted by a local context. So, what is an eco village? The term of eco village came into use with Robert and Diane Gilman's studies, Eco Villages and Sustainable Communities, in 1991. This document led to in the conference in 1995 that birthed the Global Ecological Network, Eco-Villages Network, which has acted as the centralizing force for the eco-villages movement ever since. The definition of term eco-villages is detailed into separate terms, like the following, by Diane Gilman's and Robert Gilman's report, as follows. Human scale, human scale implies that the community is limited to size in which people can know and be known by others in the community and each person feel, feels that he or she has the opportunity to influence the decisions in the community. Opinions on how many people human scale might include a range of 100 to 500 individuals. The second term is full featured. This indicates the element of daily life, residence, work, leisure, social life and commerce are present in balanced proportions. The third one is human activities are harmlessly integrated into the natural world. This is one this one emphasizes that the ideal of equality between humans and other forms of life. The involved this involves the cyclical use of resources such as the solar energy instead of the f use the fossil fuels supportive healthy of healthy human development it refers to the mental physical emotional and spiritual health to of the individual with the within the community as a whole contributed into indefinite future that combine all the above principles under the umbrella of sustainability. Dimensions of eco-villages Eco-villages have three inter, uh, interlinked dimensions, ecology, community, and culture spiritually. The, these dimensions are continuum to, as demonstrated in this image. The ecological dimension 
of ecovillages consists the connection between people and earth soil water and plants and animals and the stewardship towards its preservations ecologic ecology is embedded in the community through models of low impacting living low impacting building integrated energy systems local water treatment earth restoration and permaculture for the social dimension is supported in eco villages is the mutual with other intentional communities and with and with the communions of the past the social character of uh, intentional communities addresses people desire of spending more time together building relationships and being part of supportive environment for the cultural and spiritual dimension the cultural and spiritual dimension are important part of eco villages living residents may search for reactivation and cultural traditions and a life in harmony with the earth and all the living beings eco villages designed towards sustainable architecture sustainable design green buildings ecological design and organic architecture involve more or less similar concepts of the ecologically appropriate design and building practices such design approaches attempt to address the negative impacts of nature by using suitable materials environmentally friendly construction pro practices for achieving a sustainable architecture buildings must be designed with all factors considered for them to have at least amount of adverse effects on the on the environment the three main dimensions of sustainability can be interpreted according to six fundamental principles for the achievement of sustainable architecture the first one is optimize site potential the, pro uh, the proper site selection including the existing buildings re uh, rehabilitation orientation and landscaping of buildings are aspects that affect the local ecosystem transportation methods and energy use the second one is optimize energy use use renewable energy resources such as solar energy wind wind and biomass it is important to increase our energy independence independence by reducing the dependence of uh, on fossil use drive energy this could be achieved by operating in net zero energy buildings as we will see in the bed z project the third one is protect and conserve water reducing water consumption and protecting water quality are the key objective of sustainable buildings buildings should decrease the need for water by increasing efficiency by maximizing the use of water that is collected used perfumed and reused on the site fourth optimizing building space and material use across in the uh, its entire life cycle a sustainable building is designed and operated to use and reuse materials and natural resources most productively and sustainably the fifth one is optimize operational and maintenance practices designers should use materials and systems that reduce maintenance requirements of life cycle costs the last one is enhance respect for users this can be obtained by enhancing the indoor environment quality of building that has a significant impact on occupants health comfort and productivity materials and methods the study focuses on elaborating the meaning of both environmental and ecological dimensions of eco villages it also focuses on the interpretation of parameters by stating which relevant example and case of studies the study uh, the method used in this study is descriptive analytic and applied to the current situation of case of studies a qualitative approach used for data collection and some published work online 
document analysis content or of different sources, books, journals, documents. Bed Z, the case number one. Bed Z in certain South London has gone down in the history as the UK's first large scale mixed use sustainable communities. Bed Z was designed to create a thriving community in which ordinary people can enjoy a high quality of life with living within their fair share of the earth resources, ecological and carbon footprinting were used to set benchmark for sustainable lifestyle. BedZ seeks to offer the, its occupants the opportunity to live and work with completely carbon natural lifestyle. The BedZ uh, integrated sustainability in his approach for social amenity mixed uh, living working and working community actively urban density community critical masses proximity to wider community for the financial effectiveness housing association build costs afford key workers accommodations live and work to assist business startups link improve public transport viability for the environmental impact, zero fossil fuel, 100% renewable, e renewable energy use, zero heating houses, passive solar heating, uh, photovoltaic power for 40 electric vehicles, recycled timber use structures, steel urban waste, view fields, HP improved the site ecological values, lands as a finite resource, recycling facilities. Case number two, Oroville. Oroville is an, an experimental township in the upper district in the states of Tamil Nadu, India, near Pandemakiri in South India. Oroville was founded as project of the Sri Aurobindo Society founded in 1968 by Mira Alpha. Alpha. Alfasa, also known by, as the mother, designed by the architect Roger Anger. After the master planning, the city came up with the five zones. Oroville approach aspired to go much further. The approach of its, its master plan is to establish that the use economic and human intellectual resources which normally uh, gravitate to urban areas the approach to plan needs uh, to be in three stages prospective perspective master plan and development the plan and finally an annual plan after the master plan in the city came up with the five zone below peace zone and industrial zone and cultural zone and the five one is the green belt its center center of this eco village case number three eco villages at Ithaca eco villages are emerging as powerful force in the search of for a way balanced to social and ecological sustainability Ithaca is an example of community on the curves of such an experiment designed as an ecological housing community Itaka is according to project director attempting to pioneer sustainability culture. Eco villages contain three distinct neighborhoods, frog with 13 home, homes completed in 1997, song with 13 houses completed in 2006, and the final the neighborhood is three with 40 homes completed in 2014. Each neighborhood is a new state housing cooperative based on co-housing with shared common facilities and many shared social events including several community meals a week. Uh, Ecovillages Ithaca demonstrates an alternate model to st standard suburban development that is replaced one 
where zoning and building codes are met. City services are used and yet an entirely different community emerges. Eco Village Itaka is a community that occupies the same type of space that is typically cookie culture development B instead makes extensive use of its local resources, grow its own food, preserve open space and make conscious decisions about what type of community it want to be. Case number four Crystal Water Eco Village in nineteen ninety six Crystal Water in Australia received the United Nations World Habitat Awards for its pioneering work in demonstrating new ways of low impact in sustainable living. There were six design objectives at Crystal Water. Green, uh, clean air, water and soil, freedom in spiritual belief, to work towards guarantee of meaningful activity for all, creates a place for healthy play and safe reaction recreation activity activate social interaction and healthy shelter crystal water accommodations up to 300 people with 80 percent of the land set aside for agriculture and steeper areas given to forestry recreation and natural habitats the the house are built of a variety of materials such as straw bill, rained earth, pole and mud domes, and avoid reinforced timbers and toxic chemicals. The Eco Center for Education has rained earth walls, photovoltaic power, rainwater collection, and bio biolithic water system. The residential area lot arranged in culture to encourage interaction, cooperation, and sense of belonging. Shem's aspects shows careful consideration for the environment, social needs, and the economy. Food is grown on site, and most residents maintain home gardens on, uh, and the uh, orchards. The Shem's has occupation zoning, which creates business zone with the residential areas. Number five, Findhorn. The Findhorn community eco villages in Scotland is one of the earliest and largest intentional communities. It is currently working on the largest intentional community in the United Kingdom. The Rapidity Development Findhorn Foundation Community Eco Villages started in 1980s. The community is comprised more than 400 individuals who live and work in this rural area. Various construction methods have been utilized one method make use of natural materials which is incorporated into a breathing wall. This allows fabric of buildings to breathe and thereby moderate humidity and air quality. There have also been experiments with other ecological solutions such as straw bale construction and system using recycled car types as building materials. The eco villages Findhorn has erected 61 ecological buildings of to date and there are going plans to the con continued construction of ecologically respectful built environment. Findhorn Eco Villages is a founding member as the home of Global Eco Village Network International Secretariat, which was found, uh, found, founded in 1995 with the mandate of of supporting the creation and development of eco villages and communicating eco village experiences to mainstream policy makers, planners, and professionals. Duridinis, case number six. The contractor has 21 acre site, uh, are decided to build 14 earth shelter dwelling. By these decisions, it has been shown importance of the earth shelters sheltered building energy gains, energy conception, noise reduction, aesthetics, and land use. One of the more common motivations for the building an earth shelter structure like Duridinis is blended with the natural landscape. This is often the case of real site where the owner wishes to build a dwelling but 
also retain the untouched beauty of the natural landscape. The double use of land and the house underneath, gardens on top, means the earth sheltered houses can be built on smaller blocks than conventional houses and still have sufficient space of outdoor living. The, uh, this makes earth sheltered housing particularly useful for low or medium density housing development, an area of construction that will no doubt increase the f in the future as the world population grows and cities become larger and larger. The comparative matrix, an analysis of different models according to the criteria of sustainable architecture, the results were presented in the matrix bill. Present uh, different projects and uh, the data of the project location, year and type and for criteria uh, to, uh, criteria to and parameters of ecological buildings, sustainable design and ecological principles are cited in the Y dimension. So we go to the matrix right now. Each project is with his type urban or rural is present a variety of parameters so discussion and conclusion from the previous studies we have shown that the result for the comparative matrix sustainable measures provide a hint about the most recurrent strategies in eco village studies the most common strategy is uh, applied is strengthen the community by connecting place with people and sustainable practices because eco villages are committed to stewardship towards natural environment all the communities studied demonstrate effort to restore natural ecosystems intentional communities as a whole and eco villages as one segment were meant to be and are living models for sustainability and great ex examples of actions taken immediately they represent an effective accessible way to combat the degradation of our social, economic, ecological and uh, spiritual environments. Many grassroots sustainable communities have been founded in the vision that is based in the set of principles of deep ecology and living systems theory. A strong philosophical framework shared by members of the community is important to maintain unity and continue to struggle toward more sustainable way of living. Thank you very much.